Uh, some of these guys pushing uh, upwards of 8 and 900 horsepower is certainly the way to go. If you uh, want to see some horsepower, then definitely be here tomorrow night from 7 p.m. Empire Tours at Woodford Glen Speedway. And also back in uh, the uh, back will be the guys in the stock cars for the North versus South Finals, which has blown up to be a beauty. I, I'd love to see uh, the Crushers versus the um, the KB Cowboys guys. I think that would be the ultimate and sort of uh, final race, wouldn't it? Well, it, will, well it's, it works a little different tomorrow night because uh, each team puts forward three drivers and you have a North Island versus South Island teams race. We actually have two of them. Uh, for the top three drivers and the second three drivers of each team. So uh -huh. two north versus south teams races tomorrow night. Then will be fun. So all the, best, all the best from the north, all the best from the south, all cranking it up and seeing how they can get on. That's right, and it's first across the line too, is winner, winner takes all basically, so it's everything to play for. Right yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the boys are lining up uh, over here, 67 uh, Nigel Newman. He's got some nice new car for him. Needs a bit of a paint job though, but I suppose what he really needs to start off with is a number really, isn't it? Well, you've got to start with a number and go from there. But there's some very well presented cars. As you said, the one in Z car looks absolutely fantastic. The uh, 88 car of uh, Jason Scott looking very sharp there. The Spider-Man car, the uh, 51 car, Brett Adams, that's a very well presented car too. Well, they told me, I went down here a week to Gary Lynn and they said that the uh, car's got some carburetor problems. So that's why he's uh, having all sorts of problems. So uh, hopefully they'll have it all fixed up for the next week. It's usually a very reliable machine, which that's is right. unusual yeah. for them. So uh, I'd imagine they'll be all over that. Uh, so that's why we won't see him out for this uh, feature race. Up the front though, uh, lining up in good position number one will be the running Z car and that is Luke Keegan on the outside 81. Paul Richards had a good run tonight here as well. 3 Z Hayden Mackay will get uh, good position number three on his outside in grid four and we'll see uh, the 2 Z car of Mike Goulet. Uh, in grid position number five it will be the 10 of David Thompson on his outside we'll see 69 Andrew Navin. Then we go back uh, there by himself at the moment, 67 car which is Nigel Nevin. Now Jason Scott I'd imagine we lining up beside him. It's come to a bit of a stop here, so I'm not sure what the edge parts and performance uh, issue is there. And of course, um, for those people that don't know, this uh, machine that uh, that Jason Scott driving is actually um, a car that's designed and uh, assembled by Alan Woods. Um, it's a QT chassis out of Australia, which is the uh, chassis manufacturer that Alan Woods has. Uh, and they do modified and spin cars, so uh, so this is a, uh, a reasonably new sort of a thing for them, and uh, yeah, so that's probably why I got the opportunity to drive this, uh, that car, because he bloody near owns it, so, uh, well, he bought the chance yeah, yeah. Okay. interesting. So, uh, so that's a, a very good way to get involved in, uh, in racing. There's some good deals there. Of course, Alan owns a, a rather large like speed shop, like each parts of performance over there. As the green flag goes up, we're ready to go racing, and that's exactly what we're going to do. One in Z, uh, Luke Keegan uh, does a good start, and the red car of uh, Paul Richards does. And they'll start to settle themselves down now as they make their way down the back straight, and it is the 81 car of uh, Paul Richards that leads the charge. One in Z, Luke Keegan makes up for the mistake that he made off the start, and goes around the outside up between turn three and four, and makes his way into the lead, going into one and two now. Beautiful line about the track, makes his way down the back straight into turn two. Back behind to 81, Paul Richards in second spot, then the 3 NZ car of Hayden Mackay. One spot back, we'll see the 10 car of David Thompson now as they make their way up into the front straight. David Thompson's now got on the inside of the 2 NZ car of Mike Goulet now. 67, Nigel Nevins about 8 back in that next spot, then 69, Andrew Nevins having a wee sniff as well. Uh, the 88 car of Jason Scott would be your next place car, about 6 or 7 behind. Uh, and Andrew Nevin now as they make their way up into turn number uh, 3 and 4, starting to light it up for the front straight as they go across the start for this line. 46 point stack with the next place car. He's got pretty much a, a full half a length of the front straight back to the 15 machine of uh, Tom Richards and then right at the rear of the field there we'll see the 51 car of Brent Adams. Up the front opened up a rather large gap to us the one NZ car of Luke Keegan. That's making about three quarters of a length to the back straight back to the three NZ car of Hayden Mackay now. About four back 81 would be your next place car of Paul Richards as they make the way to turn four master car. About another eight or nine back and behind Tim we'll see the uh, uh, car of 10 who's having a good run tonight, David Thompson from 10 said Mike Delay is around his feet again. 67 Nigel Levin today, 25 back in that next spot having a great battle with 69 Andrew Navin. Navin's got a little bit too right coming out of 10 to Jason Scott as a wee look but can't quite get it to go as they make the way out onto Master Guard turn 3 and 4. In the way then 46 split stacks closing the gap up on the two inch cars. Jason Scott looks down the inside going up into 1 and 
two now. Each part's performance goes uh, side by side, but 16 Andrew Naven comes out pretty good out of turn number two. Scotty has a little look up in turn three and four again. Let's go front side. And it's a uh, new uh, opponent who's uh, got this one sorted out. He's got the length of the back uh, straight. And it's a little kick in the running zip car. Three in zip, Ada McKay. No, she negotiated away around the 50 run machine. Oh, Peter Adams looks down the inside, coming up turn four. And behind Tim will see the 81 car and Paul Rich is now having a look as well. One spot back, two in Z, Mike Gillows close the gap up on the 81 car, then Tia Glenn car. And David Thompson's about 15, 20 links back in that next spot. A big gap back, links to the back straight, back to the 67 and Nigel Niven, then 88 Jason Scott now got through on 69 Andrew Nathan. 46 big stack, the next one there. They make their way into the front straight, right up behind big stack, we'll see the young Cody is in. Champion on the end team. It is a course lead kick. It looks up pretty high up between turn number uh, one and two. He's about to catch up behind Andrew Naven. Naven's going backwards in a big hurry. So obviously cars sort of going off a little bit here as they make their way out of turn four. Right chucked up and down the inside of him. We'll see the one inside car. Keegan's got this thing bowled in beautifully. Working on 46 bit stack now as he makes his way down the back straight. Uh, three ends at Hayden McCoy is uh, pretty much a length and a bit back into that next spot in second. Then two ends at Mike Bellay's got past the other one car of Paul Richards. Another three or four back behind Tim Tim. David Thompson will be your next place car. Forget the rest, she's all go. Up the front, he's off and gone. But in seat, he's starting to work his way through 46 bit stack. Late on the backs going up to turn three and four. Ducks down beautifully now. Next on his list uh, is the uh, 88 car of Jason Scott as they're going between one and two now. Looks up nice and high, does the Luke Keegan, has a wee sniff down the inside now. Puts the power down, look at the power difference between him and 88 Jason Scott. He's up into two, three and four, beautifully controlling this race. Three ends at Hayden McKay, one flag comes out, one to go for a lead car. It is a course, one ends at car, Luke Keegan. Hayden McKay is going to come across the start finish line now, she's a big gap. And the one ends is just slice and through. That lap traffic is up behind 46 boot stack. He's just got two turns left to go. Lines it up for the front straight. Luke Keegan, he'll take the win nice and easy here from the three and Z car. Of Peter McCoy still coming off the turn. Here he is there across the start.